Hello and welcome back and today we're continuing our look at the Acer Store NAS applications for the Acer Store NAS series. Now we talked about a number of applications not just from Acer Store but from QNAP and Synology and TerraMaster over the years and when it comes to it the most important part of any mobile app for your NAS system is the ability to give you the files you want in the quickest and most user-friendly means possible. Now, because of that, all the NAS brands, including Acer Store, have produced different applications that are tailored to different needs. If you look at this selection on screen, AI Data at the top left is for file management, AI Photo, and surprisingly, even despite that spelling, is for photography, AI Music for music, and so on and so on. I've already reviewed a number of applications already, and today we're talking about AI Music, the music application for enjoying music on your NAS. Now, Every time uh, when you first set up any of these mobile applications with a NAS, it's worth highlighting that you would, of course, need to log in and find the NAS for the very first time. Now, this application is available for free from iOS and Android. And today, we're, as you may have already no noticed, we are not, if you look at the top left, using the internet. All access to the NAS is going to be done over the network today. Nothing to do with accessing over the internet. That's because a number of you only want to access a NAS in this rather secure means via the likes of DLNA or just standard uh, land area network protocol using RJ45 and more. So once you open the app for the first time, what it will show you to start with is all the photos on your local device. These are all things that are on your local um, device, your phone, your tablet, your whatever you're using, and in order to log into your NAS, you need to tap the three lines at the top left, and at the bottom, go to server list, and it will let you search your local area network for a NAS. NASs can be added by clicking that plus button, and either adding the cloud ID, which is the internet access to your NAS that you set up for the first time, adding the network IP rather than the internet, which allows you to just type in like 192.168.054, but of course that will differ on your network, or auto discovery, which will search your local area network for the NAS. And that's the one I went for, and I found the NAS here. So we can log in, and you don't have to go through this every time, you can save it so that the NAS will always log in automatically, but I never have always stay signed in on anything. Call me paranoid. So this is the AI Music application. We now we've got some music files, we've got an Oasis album and an audio book and some other bits already installed on our Acer Store NAS, so there's the recently added. And then the, if we rate uh, songs as we go, we can then create a master list right there. Now, at the top left, if we click those three buttons, we can look at the configuration options open to us via the AI Music application. So Home obviously brings us back to that home page. Then you've got the ability to browse all songs that are on the device. And again, nice and straightforward, very responsive, very quick. Next, if we've created playlists, they will appear there and we'll create one in a bit. Albums will be listed here. For anyone that's ever used mu music applications such as Double Twist, this will be very familiar indeed. One of the things I've got to say that really kills me about the likes of Google Play Music that you can see on the screen there, is it doesn't have a simple, basic, easy and user-friendly file manager. Because don't get me wrong, we like playlists, we like albums, we like genres, we like artists, but sometimes you just want to be able to touch at the top and go into folders. And that's what Double Twist gives you. And this is what the Acer Store app lets us do. We can go via folder listings on the NAS or locally if we so choose. And then we can play a file from here if we choose to. All the time at the bottom of the screen, the ability to adapt, play with, fast forward, rewind, play, skip, all the rest of all the usual options you would expect on any half decent music player. Now if we go to the settings menu, there's a few more setting options here than what we've seen in other applications from Acer Store so far. We can talk about song capacity information based on the device itself and how much is being used. We can have a timer that turns off access how and when we want it to. Run the device in the background so when we close the app it doesn't kill the music. And other slightly more fun options such as Shake It, which allows you to skip songs just by waving the phone vigorously. And... Uh, let the device decide what audio formats to play. Now, this is where things where you can choose certain file types that will or will not be supported in playback, which might be quite useful for people that have large media collections but only want to play certain kinds of audio 
via this app that are on the NAS. Now, playback, um, playback mode settings is the ability where you, how you want the device to act whilst you're listening to the music. Uh, on top of that, you've got passcode instructions that allow you to stop people accessing the, your music via your NAS on this app. Uh, if they've got your phone, they may need to add a pass lock if you want to add that, which is always useful. And of course, more instructions about how to use it the first time and if you want to contact Acer Store about it. Now, let's go to probably the most important part. How well does this play music? So, first and foremost, let's go for Oasis. Let's go there. And from here, we've got the listing of the Oasis Greatest Hits. So let's just play a song right now in the hope that this won't get our uh, YouTube channel taken down. So we're going to stop that playing there, but you did hear the audio there in the background, because one, we don't want any copyright issues on this channel, but moreover, just because we want to focus on these options without music playing in the background. Now, just like any half-decent music player, we've got the playlist underneath. We can download lyric options if we so choose. We could choose to tap the buttons on our phone properly, and from here, we can carry on and look at different options that are open to us. Now, individual songs, we can choose to add different listings, star ratings, which helps us later on. As well as that, we can pick this as a favorite song, so it comes up later on. And we can choose to stream this music to connected devices on a local area network. And if you've got a NAS with speakers, let's go there, disable that, sorry, pressed it by accident. From here, we can choose if we've got a DLNA supported device, we can push this song to that device. Smart TVs, hi-fi systems, Basically, a lot of supported devices from Acer Store, as well as Acer Store having a number of USB and SPIF, I believe, and HDMI 1.4B audio options that also let us push music from the NAS to those devices. At the top, we can edit playlists, create playlists, or download songs directly onto our local device if we so choose, like so. That will now download that song in the background for us. And then on top of that, we can go back and look at other songs. So can we navigate different options on this phone, uh, on this mobile app, while listening to other music? So for now, let's go to the London Philharmonic Orchestra. And from here, we'll start listening to music while navigating the device. I'm just going to turn the volume down while we do it. Let's have a look, let that play. And then let's ever play GTA 4. Um, let's face it, classic game, and this music's taking longer to play than I would have liked. Let's have a look there, we've still got all those options open there in the background, but it doesn't appear like this music wants to play anytime soon. And again, we've got options like shuffle and skip and auto shuffle and all the rest of the options you'd expect from any media player, but again, kind of surprised the music hasn't played by now. Maybe it's the file. Let's try another one just to be on the safe side. While coming out of that, let's make our way into some other options of this app while this thing decides to play music in the background. Just in case it is those files, why don't we try out one of those Oasis ones because right now I'm significantly underwhelmed. Let's try Wonderwall. Not exactly blowing me away right now. So, carrying on from here, that's pretty much all of the features and the functionality of this device. So we wanted to add these songs to a playlist. Oh, we finally got it there in the background. Let's turn that down, nice and low. So we can still navigate options while we're listening to this. So let's add that to play next. So now while listening to that, we can still do other things. I think that's still good enough that we can navigate all those options while it's playing. Now, it has seemingly been the case during the course of our mobile application overviews of Acer Store products that we've seen these apps being a little bit temperamental. Now, some of that we might be able to put down to the fact that we're using no internet connection, but I don't think that's the case. And that is designed to be network only, and therefore it's a little disappointing that these apps aren't running as smooth as one would like. Um, we are going to end things now on the AI Music application, because next up we're going to be looking at 
AI videos. Now, this is the one that a number of you have been asking about, largely because the AI videos application is how we're going to enjoy videos. Now, with features like transcoding and subtitles and 4K media being supported by this device, the Nimbus Store 4, this AI videos app pretty, be, pretty, yeah, pretty be, better be pretty damn good. Words, get the words out of your mouth, Rob. Now, before I go, it's worth highlighting that you guys have asked in the comments what a number of these other applications are. So I'm not going to be making a video on most of these, but I will touch on them nevertheless. AI download is the ability to have a download manager to download things like RSS feeds for music, radio stations, podcasts, and more, as well as NZB uh, BitTorrent and other and HTTP and FTP download listing and abilities. They're all included in there in that app. Next, we can look at oh, we'll come out of that application. Next, we can look at AI Remote. This is the remote that lets you control the HDMI output of your Acer Store NAS using Acer Store Portal and is a remote control that lets you, and it's gonna scan the local area network for a NAS. Unfortunately, this NAS is not connected currently by HDMI. So although I can access the NAS, there's not much point having the remote control access there. But if you had an HDMI remote, uh, HDMI enabled Acer Store NAS, you would be probably be quite excited about that app. Finally, AI Secure is their surveillance application. Now I will be touching on this one at a later date, but for now, we're not gonna worry about that too much. We'll add that there for the future reference, but we will be doing some more dedicated surveillance videos with this Acer Store NAS. Now at the moment, we haven't got any cameras set up, so unfortunately we will not be able to do much with this app at the moment. We do have a, a camera in that environment, but we'll leave that to another day. But I'm gonna wrap things up here. Do check out my next video on AI videos, and finally, probably my favorite app of all, AI Master. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications and get more information, and I'll see you next time.